New Yorkers for Real Immigration Reform urged President Obama to take immediate executive action and provide administrative relief for undocumented people. A message from President Obama is to um, put himself in our shoes. We are people, we are hardworking people who do not come to the United States just because. We come here to seek a better future, not only for our families, but for ourselves. And it's something that he needs to understand. And he, it's something that he needs to act upon right now, as opposed to waiting for more things to get complicated. The speakers here today represent a variety of stories, from families that want to keep uh, stay together, to people who don't have uh, U.S. citizen children or DACA beneficiaries. Our purpose uh, is to run a campaign uh, that would benefit uh, everyone. We are asking for the president to issue an executive order that would benefit the most people possible. We have been fighting for this way too long. We know that the president has the authority to issue an executive order that would bring people out of the shadows, that would allow people to work here well, without the fear of deportation, and that will keep families together. Today, we are hosting a town hall to bring the communities together and to ask President Obama to stop deporting our families and to go forward with his promise for administrative relief and to do everything that his administration is authorized to do to provide relief to our immigrant families and communities. On Tuesday evening, activists gathered at Baruch College to speak about how the lack of action on immigration reform has impacted their families as well as the community. Undocumented people fear that one day their trip to work will result in being apprehended by ICE, which will result in deportation and separating families. Uh, yeah, funding that well, it's a constitutional put, right. It would put me and my sister up to deportation. One, and um, we just had a question. Do you want to deport me and my Thanks, sister? Guys. Have a Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Read, read, read. We read it, but do you so want much. to deport me? Well, I'll read the position. Thanks, guys. Do you want to deport me and my brother? I want you to read the book. If I could have you, you could just I, I read the book, man. I'm actually a dreamer myself. And I'm originally from Mexico, but I've been raised here. I graduated from Mexico State University, actually. And Arizona State University. And I know you want to get rid of DACA, so I want to give you the opportunity. If you really want to get rid of it, just write mine. You can go ahead and <laughs> do that. You take, you take my DACA, you're going to take really everything that right now I'm having in college. I did graduate from college. You can go ahead and write my DACA. My name's Jose, and we are dreamers from the state of Florida, and our senator wants to deport us. Senator Rubio, you don't stand with Latinos. Latinos stand with dreamers. Senator Rubio, stop flip-flopping with our community. We are here, we are here, Senator Rubio. Came all the way from Florida because you want to deport us and our family. You want to deport us and our family, Senator Rubio. And we know that your mother believes in the American dream. We know that your mother believes in us. In a Hoy, aquí. Como 12 millones de inmigrantes y más que somos, estamos en esta situación. Estamos para buscar un camino, un camino que está en las manos del señor presidente Obama. Señor presidente Obama, hoy queremos su acción. Así como nos prometió que antes del final del verano tomaría una acción ejecutiva, le estamos pidiendo una acción para detener las deportaciones, una acción para cubrir a la mayor cantidad de inmigrantes que como yo pagamos impuestos, aportamos a esta gran nación y es justo que tengamos una solución a esta situación incierta que hoy nos agobia y nos está ahorillando, pero también nos ha unido hoy en este foro y alrededor del país para que esto cambie, porque ya es tiempo de que Nosotros contemos no solamente como número, sino como ciudadanos de este país.